tomato guns. It's like something out of a horror film in here. I thought I would have been in here sooner. They're doing all right, considering. But uh, yeah, I've actually got some tomatoes that I've sadly neglected. So we're going to clear all this up and get this place ready for the winter. The tobacco plants can stay. They seem very happy, actually. The temperature is at see. Goodness sake, it's not even that warm. Right, this place is an absolute disaster. Where do I start? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do first is collect any kind of harvest I can get and then I'll just start here and work my way around. I think that'll be the easiest way. I need to redo the slug traps as well, so we'll get that done. I've got to be careful not to touch the tobacco plants with bare arms. You don't want to be doing that. Okay, they're all yucky, so... I will just take them off, put them in my bucket. Ew, very mushy. They're a nice bright colour, but what's there's some little black dots on it? Look, what are the black dots? Does anybody know? What is that? Never had that before. I wonder if I could overwinter these. She says, try to put it back in. I was far too late planting any kind of cucumber in here this year. Next year, we'll get it next year. This one made a slightly better effort. But, still rubbish. So that can go as well. What is this? I know it. Well, that's the label. Telegraph. Improved. Too late planted, so crap. One of my beer traps, which is full of flies. I'm not even going to show you, it's disgusting. So I've also got this one. Chili plant, which, oh cool, look, still trying to grow chilies. I'm going to keep these in here and see if I can get keep them over the winter, maybe if I can keep them going. That would be a, a good idea. Right, so I've decided I'm going to try and keep some of these chilli plants going over the winter in here. I've tied it up, that's actually a lemongrass, which most of it was dead. So I've had that a couple of years now. I've never actually harvested it, so I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. So now I'm going to tackle the tomatoes and chilies up there, which are not looking great. Well, that one's not bad. That's Hungarian hot wax. Let's see. <laughs> That's the dog. That's a terrible noise. Here you go. What would eat a chili? still flowering and it looks pretty healthy that is hungarian hot wax yeah i was right so they're really good strong plants so i'll definitely keep them going as long as i can right i've just found a slight problem this is definitely a beefsteak tomato right which i've never had any success with but that's not the point the point is i've labeled it red robin which are the little tiny tomatoes that like a tumbling tom. So yeah, definitely a labelling error there. That's that's definitely not red robin. Okay, now I'm gonna try and tackle this. I think most of it is just emptying and taking whatever tomatoes are left. I feel like this is taking a lot longer than it should. I don't know why this is taking so long. But it is Oh, I think because it's quite a depressing sight, isn't it? When you see all these plants that are finished. The ones that haven't actually given you any fruit yet. And and they're done. It's like, you're not going to manage anything at this time of year. 
you're still trying. I don't know whether that's depressing or just optimistic. I don't know. Anyway, let's crack on. This is also when you find all the wee slugs that have been doing damage for months. Success. One tomato is a success. This has definitely given up the ghost, but it's got a few tomatoes on it. Ones I've missed. Happy tomato dance. <gasps> if it's edible, it's a win. Right, so the main sorting out is done. All I'm going to do now is a bit of rearranging and I'll call that ready for winter. I've got quite a few tomatoes and, and there's chilies. I wasn't expecting to get that much, especially not in the middle of November, but I will be taking this. And um, yeah, I think the green ones can still go red. There's still time. My plan is to sow some broad beans and keep them in here. And I was going to do that today. Check my seeds. I don't have any broad beans. I was convinced I had. I was convinced I'd saved some, but I don't have any. So I'm going to get some tomorrow. And then we'll come back and do some sewing. <laughs> 